just wants to uh, study anything. My mom told me that I needed to go outside and uh, take a look at uh, some frog eggs that I had found a couple days before. And whenever I went out there, I found a garter snake eating my frog eggs. But I was ecstatic, so that was the first snake I ever found or caught. And ever since then, I've just been obsessed with snakes. The Fulbright program I heard about um, because one of my other lab mates, uh, Stu Nielsen, actually, uh, when I arrived, was beginning his Fulbright. Um, and so he told me about the program that it was a really good way to uh, well, obviously to do what we want to do, which is research. It's difficult to find programs that uh, actually fund research in, you know, all over the world, like Fulbright does. And uh, I chose Ethiopia mainly because it's a region um, in northern Africa that there aren't herpetologists working in right now. There, are, I mean, there's a few people that study uh, particular frogs and things like that, but uh, there's no herpetologist at Ethiopia's Federal University, and uh, very little is known about the fauna in Ethiopia. My research study, I'm going to be comparing um, snake communities from two different sites. Uh, one, is in, one site is in the Bale Mountains, where the community there uh, doesn't have very many different species of snakes, but they're all it almost all endemic to Bali, so that means they're found there but nowhere else anywhere in the world. Um, and I'm comparing that community with a lowland community that has lots of species of snakes, so many different species, um, but they're all really common throughout most of sub-Saharan Africa. So I'm wanting to learn, what I study for my PhD in general is community assembly in snakes. So why you have different snake communities in different places and what processes lead to that. So in Ethiopia, I'm kind of comparing this really species poor community, but all endemics to a very species rich community of very common things and kind of what leads to that. Um, so that's what I'm most excited about is getting in the field and finding snakes. The application process is, uh, so it's a long process, you know, it, can, it took um, I think better than seven or eight months for me to actually be notified that I, I received it. But the application itself is really short. And so you have a lot that you want to say about what you're going to do over an eight to 10 month period of time, but you've only got two pages to say it. So you really have to um, be very clear and concise with your point, why your proposed research uh, should be funded, why Fulbright should be interested in you, and uh, you've also got to give a little bit of background about yourself, the type of person you are. I'm just getting started, but it's been nothing but a positive experience for me so far. Uh, really, the only hard thing has been just waiting to hear, <laughs> because it is a long process whenever you're waiting, but I think it's a really, really positive, good, good thing. Anybody who's interested in doing research somewhere in the world uh, should definitely think about it.